Hello. So I've got a, a Q&A for, for everybody today and uh, I keep a list of uh, frequently asked questions. You know, somebody comes up with, well, not, not always frequently asked either, just interesting questions. I keep a list of them. And uh, anytime I need to uh, uh, record a video for the team, they say, just get some videos recorded. I look down the list and pick one. And uh, my eyes are lighted on this question and uh, it just seemed really apt for today. Uh, the question is, should I pay off my mortgage? Uh, generally talking about the house you live in, I suppose you know, once we've finished and you know, got sort of halfway through this video, we might sort of start expanding that to, should I pay down my mortgages, my buy-to-let mortgages? But uh, the reason um, I was particularly attracted to that question today, um, I, I, yeah, do, do people know? I mean, uh, people have been uh, looking at this this background here for a while. Uh, this is my house. This is where I live. Um before lockdown, the background would have been the office <clears throat> uh, that we have in, in uh, well, I used to record them in, in one of various different offices. I used to record them in the car, but, you know, don't nobody seems to be driving very far much, much these days. I've, I mean, I've got very comfortable here. Uh, people come and find me um, and, uh, and, and occasionally I get my car and drive out. Um, but, yeah, this this is my home office. I don't know if people have noticed over the last... I know six or seven videos, but if you were, I don't know, nobody would be bothered to scroll back, but I've gradually got more and more cramped into this corner. Um, this is my last day in this house. I'm going to spin the camera around in a minute. And I'll just do a little bit of a walking tour of my house whilst giving you my opinion or, or, or yeah, the answer to, to this question as well. So, um, yeah, this is, um, I, I have got the, uh, I've got it on the stick as opposed to, I normally have it all set up there. And, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was kicked out of my house today by builders. So look, it's gradually, there we go, look, that is a load of pile of boxes that have all been. And if I spin the camera around now as I as I leave the office, let's do that. So here we go. This is, uh, this is where I've been kind of camping out in there for the last 48 hours as I waited for the, um, the Wi-Fi and whatnot to be on at our temporary home. We're leaving this house for a little bit. We're going to do a bit of a, a renovation. And I came into uh, well, my office there this morning and I found seven guys in the house ripping it all apart. So, um, yeah, I suppose what, what got me uh, answering this question today was, you know, where I find myself today. We're moving out, thinking about you know, why we're moving, what we're trying to achieve with everything. And, you know, it's, it's a personal thing, isn't it? It's sort of a family. That was, uh, that was the kids' bathroom that they had a bath in, what, five days ago? <laughs> Six days ago? Uh, I, I had breakfast in this house at the weekend. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that used to be the area covered, and now it kind of goes through to there. I, don't think probably, I haven't been up here for uh, about six or seven hours. Oh, goodness me. There was a bed there this morning. And uh, yeah, well, I slept in it about four or five days ago. So, yeah, this is definitely being ripped apart. So, I'll keep walking. You keep watching and I'll keep talking as well. So, yeah, yeah house. I think the first thing I kind of got to was you've got to live in the house you want to live in, don't you? You've got to live in somewhere that you want to live in. And uh, for, all, for all the right reasons, it's got to be suitable for you. And um, yeah, I think that's probably the thing that comes first. Personally, I live, in a, I live in a caravan. I live in a very small house. I don't need much at all. Um, but yeah, the family want, family want, family need. Um, something a bit bigger. I've got four kids and uh, yeah, they need, they need somewhere to live. And actually, I'd like it to be quite nice for them. You know, the nicer I can make it for them, the better job I feel like I've done. So, you know, saying that I live in a small house is perhaps a bit silly because, you know, I'm part of that family too, and I, clearly I wouldn't. I need I need to provide a, a, a decent home for the kids, so I'm my wife. Um, this house has been, it was a little bit strange for us, I guess. Um, when we first bought this house, we rented it. We rented it, we didn't buy it, we rented it. Uh, and then when we bought it, we bought it outright in cash. I didn't mean to, that was kind of a mistake. And uh, then, well, I'll tell you what we did. Um, the the uh, still a few things left to move out there. I'll um I'll spin the camera back around in a minute. Let's uh, spin the camera back. Around. There we go. I can hear our cats. So the house that we're renting to live in 
while we're doing this is uh, is only a, a couple of hundred yards over the road and uh, the cats keep coming back they're looking very startled um so yeah uh, re- reason we um we moved into this house we we, we we used to live in a very small house about uh, two couple of miles away just me and my wife together before we had kids emily was pregnant and uh me being me, I said, oh, we'll just stay in the house we're in. I don't, I don't need a bigger house. It was the day that we bought our pram you know, without the baby being born. And we tried to push it through the front door of the tiny little house that we used to live in. And we realised it took up half the living room. We realised we needed a bigger house. I think it was 11 days later we moved into this house. Hence, we rented it. The only way we could get it um, bought, you know, get, get moved in quick enough, good enough was to rent. So I did a, a search of all houses that were for sale and to rent. You know, I like to get a bargain as well, you know that. So um, I did the classic all houses for sale to rent and did a, uh, a long stop completion on this house. So we exchanged on it. I paid some money while we lived there and then we had to complete within. I think we had, I think we had two years or three years to complete. I can't remember. Anyway, a little bit of bad timing because uh, it was 2011. I was a portfolio landlord and although banks weren't totally against me, they certainly weren't with me enough to give me a mortgage on this house. That's the uh, the ceiling above me of the kitchen I had breakfast in last weekend. They really made a proper mess of it this week. Um, yeah, so uh, with about nine months notice, because I'd already exchanged on it, which was a bloody stupid thing to do really, but um, I suppose it just had never it never not worked out before, you know, that, that, was, that was kind of the, the sense of security you got lulled into with the uh, sort of, you know, all, the, all the good times before 2008, then 2008 comes and things change very, very quickly. I'd, I'd exchanged on a quite an expensive house, put down 10% and um, yeah, I couldn't find the other, the other bit. I, I, when I did it, I never had any idea that we couldn't. So anyway, so uh, cut a long story short, we had nine months to uh, pay for the house outright. So I ended up owning this house in cash. Um, and a couple of things, and I think this all sort of starts to answer the question. So the first thing's first, renting is bloody cheap. <laughs> renting this house, when we rented it, um, was very, very cheap, very, very cost effective. The day that we handed over that lump sum that bought this house, it felt very expensive. It felt like a very large capital pot disappeared I didn't really get much for it. Of course, I got the house, but my life didn't change. You know, I still lived in the same place. Um, capital, especially in the early days, is very, very precious. Um, so I'm just going to let the cat out. Hang on a minute. Let's, let's turn the thing back around, shall we? This is my poor cat thinking, what on earth is going on? Come on, let's let you out. Let's let you out. There you go. Come on. You go back to the other house. This is a bit more an extension. We're doing this. There's an extension at the back, extension at the side, extension at the front, extension in the roof. <laughs> Got a basement going in. That might be something that looks a little bit like a swimming pool. See, so got to do these things to keep the kids happy. Oh, lights come on. There you go. So yeah, that's uh, that's upstairs. All that's coming off and all being reclad. And as I say, being reclad, all this is all this is coming and. That's the extension upstairs. This is a two-story extension here, and yeah, it's going to be a nice little swimming pool. All right, so the cat's out, and uh, okay, so cat's safely. I've watched to go back to the, uh, the 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 new house. We have to decide what we're doing. So this one's now a house, and the other one's a home. That's what we say. So home is where you live. House is just a house. So this is the house. Um, so where was I? Um, the day we paid this house off in cash, it made renting feel real cheap. Um, the capital pot, I really despised, and that's probably not too strong a word, putting all that capital into this property. And the really striking thing is, and I suppose people pay down their mortgage because they're thinking, well, it's a nice position to be in. You, you haven't got that, um, that overhead, if you like. It changed very little. If you look down your monthly expenditure, the mortgage is not the biggest bit by a long chalk. You know, it was... You know, like five, ten, not even ten percent of what we spent in a month was the mortgage on this house. A mortgage on a principal private residence these days, and you know when I'm talking to you now, and also back in back in those days, and every every single day in between, you know what the interest rates have been like in, in the last decade. It's very very cheap. So swapping that amount of capital 
for a house, not really reducing our monthly outgoings, but having all that capital tied up, it did feel like something that I didn't want to do. Now, I'm sounding a bit anti um, paying off your mortgage. I'm actually not. Um, there's something really nice knowing that we own this house in cash. We have saved up to do the renovation that we're doing now and it'll be bought and paid for in cash. I'm not borrowing any more money to do it. And so I clearly believe in that. So I've got those two things going on in my head. I really hate tying up the capital, but also I love that feeling of, you know, we own a big chunk of something in cash. And there's other things that we try and own in cash as well, you know, and, and, and certainly don't have any more um, loans or, you know, all the cars are paid for, or all the, you know, no credit cards, all those kind of stuff. And I think if you're, um, the kind of, if you're minded to pay down your mortgage, I know lots of people are, I think it's a very sensible, prudent train of thought, you know? You're going to be, for sure, um, working hard, saving, rather than spending, and uh, yeah, making prudent financial long-term decisions. So um, I think that's a really, really good, applaudable thing. Um, and clearly I subscribe to that. That's kind of what I'm doing. But I hated the fact that we'd put that capital pot, which let's face it, when we talk about buying buy to lets, uh, you know, one capital pot is, is something that you can roll through a buy to let in you know, six, seven, eight months time. You know, you buy one, uh, refurbish it, re rent it out, refinance it, and you use one capital pot in, uh, in six, seven, eight months, that kind of time. This house is 14, 15, 16 capital pots. And when it's finished, it'll be more like 20, 25 capital pots. You know, um, it's a serious amount of work you can do with this house. So how about this for a halfway, not even a halfway house, a sensible measure. This is what I'll do, I, I do, and I'll tell you what I do with this house now. So we own it in cash and I have a various over the time if I've, I've experimented well, experimented wrong word but 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 may been made available to me and utilized um two or three different types of uh, loan that get secured on this property we have a limited company that we own our properties through more than one actually at, uh, which uh, probably isn't isn't sensible you only, only have one uh, we had to have a couple just for historical reasons and I'll definitely be putting them together at some time in the future um but we were you know Take advantage of, of whatever mortgage products can be secured on this property. It's very cheap. You will never borrow any money cheaper than on your principal private residence. Know that you own your house in cash. You take that money out and it's to buy one buy to let house. You put it in the limited company that you're going to buy in and that goes in as a director's loan to that account. You buy the house in the limited company. You do the work, you refinance it and you pay yourself back out. So you own your house in cash again. And we've been doing that for the last what, seven, eight, nine years on this particular property since we uh, thought as you had to buy the thing outright in cash. It kind of works for us. I like it. So uh, at the moment, you know, how much of this house do I own in cash? Not a lot. But I'm, the exact amount we don't owe, own of this house, we own the equivalent buy to lets, which we bought cheap, add, adding value. Um, and when they're refinanced, we'll put the money back into, uh, into this house and then, then you're kind of whole again. Um, feels good, keeps Emily, my wife, happy. Hopefully providing, um, you know, it, isn't, it, it doesn't feel scary, you know, we're always in control of it. The houses we buy are cheaper than what they're worth. So immediately you're in a better cash position, your equity position, sorry. So yeah, that's what we do. Just thought it was, uh, so I'm, I'm totally not against paying off your mortgage. I think it's a sensible thing, lots of prudent things you can do, but keeping that money tied up when you're trying to build a buy-to-let portfolio, keep it available. And there's plenty of ways to keep it available, you know, getting, getting uh, uh, all sorts of different types of loan or mortgage secured on it, and they're all very cheap. When I say all sorts of different types, there's probably only about three different types, but rather than a straightforward mortgage, it could be an offset mortgage, it could be a loan secured on it, it could be a rolling overdraft on a limited company secured on it. it, could be those kind of, you know, a couple of, couple of different ways of doing it. Um, all very feasible, very cheap, and uh, feels like you, you still own your house in cash, but you get to use the capital as and when you need it. So that's what we do, hopefully answers the question for you. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Bye for now.